Air still with us on the Sea Today Business. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest individuals globally, frequently share insight on investing. Now, his recent guidance focuses on both investment strategies and leading a fulfilling life. On smart investing, Buffett emphasizes making swift investment decisions only after thorough understanding and research. And his advice is to avoid investment we don't fully comprehend and not worry about missing opportunities we haven't extensive, extensively studied. On successful life, Buffett advises to envision our ideal obituary and shape our life accordingly, aim to find meaningful activities and people to share life with, embrace trial and error to discover what truly interests us, keeping your long-term goals in mind. Now, for Warren Buffett, we need to understand what we are investing in and we have looked onto how to scheme companies' earning report and also earning per share. Now, let's start today's discussion with book value. For that, we have our personal finance associate, Danny Rahmat, here in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us today again. Thank you for having me. So, again, as mentioned earlier, we already talked about how to scheme companies' earning yeah. report before. We look at the earning per shares. Yeah. And then there are many more to go, but today we're going to just focus on book value. Okay. All right, so yeah. uh, give us a little definition. I think we have a little definition here. The sum of the amount of all of line. Of line items in the shareholders' equity section on a company's balance sheet. Okay. Or for, for more simple definition is all the assets minus all the liabilities of the company. All the assets that they have minus, minus all, all the, the liabilities. liability that they have. Yes. All right, so, so how much the company is owing against yes. to what? So we're talking about like if they have buildings that's included yeah, on the assets. Of course, buildings, intangible assets, or maybe vehicle. Okay. Or rights, patent rights, and everything. Oh, right. Yes, minus all their debts, uh, all their payable and everything. Okay. So you will, you will get the book value. All right. The equity of the company. Now, you know, People gotta be wondering, like, why do we need to care about the value? Yeah. So, the book values. There are two things that that we need to understand about the book yeah. values. All right. So, first one is. First, what it is, is it? used to actually value at a company. Whether this company is still under value compared okay. to the price in the market, or is it already overvalued compared to the same. Uh, to the other companies in the same industry. Same industry. Same so, one, yeah. in a sense, this is uh, the first one is uh, evaluate a company and yes. the, other, the other things, which is we're going to talk more in detail next time, yeah. which is this, if the stock's going to be underpriced yeah. or it's going to be overpriced at this point. Yeah. All right. But actually, for, for, for the easy understanding is that uh, you get the book value, the equity value of the company. Okay. And you also get the market cap. And then you also get the market yes. cap. So, All actually, right. the, the book value is the value of the company that for example, if you produce something, that is your cost of production. Okay. So that is the book value of the things that you produce. And All then right. when you sell it in the market, the price that you sell, that is the market cap. All right. So you can compare whether you sell it premium or discount. Oh, okay. On that. So, so that is depending on the book value. Now, so we have some examples here. We're going to yeah. look at the first one is, we're going to look at Tesla's oh, year, year after year. Here we have Chrome. 2020 to 2023. So, can you go through us with with this? What we're we looking at In here. In million of US dollar, okay. we can see that throughout the years, up until December 2023, the company shows a healthy uh, grow of equity. Okay. Meaning that with the grow of equity, mm -hmm. some part of the equity is the return earning. Is the return earning? Yes. Okay. Return earning coming from the operation of the company if they make profit, then some part of the profit will go to return earning, which return earning will add to the equity. Okay, so, so some is going to go to return earning. Yes. Uh, return earning. Retained earning. Uh, I'm sorry? Retained. Oh, I'm sorry. Retained earning. Yes. <laughs> Went blank for a second. And then that's going to go again, go to add the equity. Add to the equity. All right. Yes. So, so with, with this, we can uh, assume that uh, if the, what is it, the equity of the shareholder remain the same, meaning that every year, if their total equity is uh, growing like this, mm -hmm. we can assume that the retained earning of the company is growing. Okay. The company is making profit. Every every single year, they're going to have their return earnings yes. going, keep going up because, like, okay, so as you mentioned, the, all the money that they gain yeah. is actually going back. Going back, back to the, the equity. Um, equity. And that return, return earning, uh, actually the company can decide two things with the mm -hmm. return earning. They can share it to the shareholder yes. for dividend, 
or they can use it to further the, develop their company. The companies. All right. Yes. So let's let's take a look at another company. Sure, if you sure. don't mind, um, we're gonna look at Apple's right now. Apple. Okay. So Apple, there's a little dip here, right? Yes. In 2022. In 2022, mm -hmm. uh, there's a little dip here. If we don't see the full picture, we can assume that maybe this company make some kind of significant loss. Right. So that their return earning become negative. Yes. So that it eats up the company's equity. But then we can also assume that they save up enough return earning here, and then uh, from 2022 uh, drop in 2021, right? Yes. They say, uh, they share they pay dividend to their investors. Okay. To this the is, shareholders. This is probably due to dividends. That, yes. Um, usually, by the way. I've heard that Apple pretty generous with their dividends. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> and then uh, continue to drop in 2022, which with significant uh, drop. Right. This is so, this is quite quite yeah. uh, about, about 13 points Maybe right there. Maybe the dividend that they pay to their shareholders is way bigger than the profit that they make. Okay. So they are very generous with the dividend. All right. And as we as we know, Apple is one of the companies that. Every year, always increase the dividend payment to the. Ah, festival. okay. So even even then, like it's, it's still growing in 2023. Yes, and then uh, grow which is again. High. All right. So we're gonna look how the 2024 is gonna perform, yeah. especially. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's let's take a look at another company, which is Microsoft. Yes. Um, for, so for Microsoft, this is also one of the stocks that that I enjoy the dividend from. Okay. Yeah, and they saw that uh, the company healthily healthily uh, grow their equity right so even though if, even though they they do give you dividends but yeah. they, re they retain the amount they retain the amount it's and then they use it to grow the company further for research and development right now earlier you mentioned something about the market the market market cap market of the company cap, how yes. does it against like the the total equity against the mar the market value? so if the company uh, company equity uh, in June 2023 is 206 billion US dollar, right? Yes. So let's see the market cap. How big is the market cap of Microsoft? For so, example, for example, let's not use Microsoft. Let's use uh, company A. All right. Can I can I write here? Yes, you can. You can. So if the equity of company A is 100. All right. But then the market cap. Is 200. All right. It's easy that we we can say that uh, the value of the company is actually 100, but the price tag of the company is 200. So, so it is sold in premium. So twice, it's a higher price. Yes. All right. Twice the the value of the company itself. So this is almost true. Also, that's the, almost the case with the Microsoft recently. Yes. If we look at the if we look at the, the total equity rate now is around two, but recently they almost they already broke the three three trillion uh, barriers right yes. there. So we can say actually uh, they actually um, sold in, in premium. In the premium price tag is higher than the value of the company. Right. So if we go back for a second and then we look at the uh, Apple again, it's it's basically. The same thing. This is yeah, a very premium yeah. price for for a stock. For for for, for a company that that keep making profit every single year and then they generously sell their dividend. Okay. What what will not investor like about this kind of company? Yes. No. Because as an as an investor, you always look for a company that's making profit that share the profit with you. So looking at these numbers, uh, which one? What what would you I consider first between Microsoft and, and Apple? What from just looking at, at these numbers? Without considering anything else. Of course, I will choose the company that has the most value. Okay. The the highest equity that the company has, maybe I will buy that one. But right. then, whether that is affordable for me or not as an investor, right. that would be the question, right? All right. So just a disclaimer on this: any of information that we actually mention on here is for information. Everything that we broadcast, it provided for informational purposes only. It does not constitute endorsement. Or validation or content by the by C Today or any of our affiliates. Uh, you're encouraged to always, always, always exercise critical thinking. Every find information independently. Now, so we already skim. We already look at EPS and yeah. then the book value. I'm looking for for. Actually, that would be the one that we have to discuss after talking about book value because right. that way we can compare fairly between each These company. companies how yes. it's gonna perform. Since we already seen the book value. We're gonna, either we're gonna move on to PVV, uh, yes. uh, 
price we, to book we'll value. value or we're going to look at the earning price for a second. All right, Mas Dani Rama, thank you again thank so you much, much for sharing with us. I hope we're going to see you again next Hopefully. next week. Yeah, and sure, we're sure. talking about <laughs> this. All right, we are going for a break with that. When we return our daily recap from the stock market, you don't want to miss, so stay here.